Want to go faster? Good afternoon, sports fans. <laughs> hey, welcome to the show. It's Wednesday here in Vancouver. Yeah, it is. We're uh, running a little late today because of some technical difficulties because of Shaw. Let's uh, point a finger at Shaw. They uh, held back megabytes on us. Okay. I think we could have used more bandwidth. They're gig hoarders. <laughs> gig hoarders. They're hoarding the gigs from us. So, welcome to the show. I'm Fuckers. formerly known as Big Daddy Pot. Continually. <laughs> and uh, this is uh, from under the seed desk. From way outside the seed desk. To the west. From of not the seed even desk. in the same room as the seed desk. Thanks to Mr. Cookie for actually <laughs> being in the seed desk. <laughs> While we Did do Cookie this. tell you I came to visit you on Monday and you weren't here? You know I can't answer that really question sad. because we haven't introduced <laughs> Al, the alchemist. <laughs> like what, what did I what? You're going off Which track, track? <laughs> Katrina. <laughs> I, uh, Don't you see the card? I missed my cue. <laughs> <laughs> so, welcome to the show. I'm formerly known oh, as Big <laughs> Daddy Pop. Oh, we started the show. Oh. How's it going, guys? Right. Are we doing the Shaw thing yet? Al the Alchemist is here from uh, <laughs> courtesy of Shaw. <laughs> and um, Shaw technician, Al the Alchemist. I'm the Shaw rep. Shaw rep. And Cable happily, guy. Uh, the queen is back. God save the queen. Cush Ryan. queen is in between. Hola, hola. Where the hell were you last week? Yeah. Honestly, I'm, yeah, ser I'm so seriously. bad. I You've got no excuse. I was tanning on the lake. Yeah, no, I was in Osoy. He was tanning on the lake. Oh, 30 plus. Wow. Getting huh? all golden brown. What I was ebbs. having a fabulous time. And yeah, I'm sorry well. I didn't text you guys because I had no cell reception up there. You didn't bring all any right. pictures How for the convenient. show? We'll What's that? You didn't bring any pictures for the show? They're all online. Oh. Look them up. <laughs> Seriously, look them up. I made an album. Look them up. I did. Right. I made a uh, May Long Weekend album. Do you do uh, While well, My Guitar Gently Weeps? <laughs> no. Oh. I don't know that one yet. Should. How about The Shaw Sleeps in Lee Harvey's Grave? Yes. Cool. And uh, <laughs> we have another camera. It's a Microsoft we camera. We do. Microsoft, yes. The brand let's is call very it important. Uh, it's let's call working. it Microsoft camera. Well, look, at yeah. we're a little fuzzy, though. Hi, guys. Jeremiah and Rose are here. Hi, Pod TV. And hi, Vapor Central. How Vapor do people Central. at Vapor Central watching right now, according to Mr. Chris Goodwin in the chat there? Was that right? Yeah. Let's see some ID. VC. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Hey, everybody in Vapor Central. In <laughs> so, so how does this, do they mail us the, the, the five bucks each? <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. Right Chris on. Thanks a lot. Afterwards. You guys rock. I haven't seen any yeah. of this money. That's right. Gary's we're like, been holding we're, it out. We're just like Matt Murna, who we won't do anything <laughs> unless yeah, there's man, a fee I'm attached to it. I'm not saying anything until I get right. my 350. <laughs> not, a, not activists. We're entertainers. Yeah. I'm so sorry, big trying to switch off. you back here. Dollar you seventy-five is good for me. I'll take half. <laughs> Woo. So, what are you smoking, marijuana man? I have a joint been passed to me. Did I roll it? Katsu's Bubba. I Katsu's it. Bubba. Ah. It is. Wow, it's very delicious. Yeah, it is. Um, got sour diesel in the bag. I got sour diesel in the joint. Here's an interesting, fun little story. If you like fun stories. This little baggie, a guy came in some weeks ago, Is bought some cush? marijuana seeds for his mom to grow, and an elderly mom. So she germinated the seeds. They were grapefruit kush, feminized, that I gave her. And uh, she germinated the seeds and planted them, but alas, nothing came up for her. Mm, that's unfortunate. Don't rightly know what went wrong, but... Uh, so I replaced the seeds with uh, something else that uh, she could try, and off the guy went. <laughs> and then he came back with uh, this little baggie. Really? Yep. And he went off to buy weed wherever he buys weed, and it was grapefruit kush, the very same <laughs> strain that he had trouble growing. And he came by and gave me uh, a gram of grapefruit kush. <laughs> Like yeah, pouring salt funny. in your Very wounds, nice. eh? 
This is what I could have had if your I'm seeds were to work. I don't think that that was a nice gesture. <laughs> I think that that was being cocky little shit, to be honest. No, I don't I think, think that's, I think, yes, I think that was very yes. genuine. No, it was they, not genuine. they probably genuine. had to pay for that weed. He and did, yeah. He did have to pay he for did. the weed, that's and pretty, you know. it was just such a coincidence and a that's, colli- a really, that's a really nice thing. Moment. I'm on the edge. I'm on the edge I about don't it. Know. I think you're just... Uh, <laughs> I'm in a bad mood today. You're in though. a bad mood. I am. I am. Cause Queen's having a bad day. Oh so my god. Maybe that's why I think he's just being a little prick. Just he's kidding. not. <laughs> Kush Queen's just having trouble, a bad day. <laughs> trouble in the kingdom. Uh, <laughs> nothing I can't deal with. Trust me. Trust you. <laughs> the Queen always deals with it. Heads <laughs> roll. Um, is there some chat? Yeah, I want to see there the chat. Here. Who's here, in the here. chat today? We have an ocean view. I want to say hi. a problem with our. Um, internet connection but hold on here so yeah it, uh, it's a beautiful day here in Vancouver <laughs> now every day it's been cloudy in the morning and then at this time of day it goes boring and gets all sunny and nice wow I was alerted to hashish nice nope, gives me headache, but thank you. hash gives you a headache um, yeah, usually, especially when it's mixed with a joint. By itself, really well done, I can take it, but when it's mixed with weed like that, for some reason it gives me a headache. What kind of hash we smoking here, Greg? Rose. Rose? Or she, she's one who oh, it. I don't know, it was a giveaway last night. Pete 2.0 had it. 3.0. It's 3.0. Oh, it's 3.0 now. We upgraded him. Gained another point. We upgraded him. I shouldn't have voted him, though. <laughs> <laughs> shouldn't have voted him, though. So, um, yeah, things uh, are going along pretty good here in marijuana world. Never a dull moment at Cannabis Culture Headquarters. As always, you should come down and watch the fury continue. (laughs) Mark's in the house uh, quite often every day and uh, back and forth between both locations. We've got the seed banks going really good. Nice. There we are. Yeah, I don't hear. We're taking every possible internet precaution here. So, uh, wow, look at there's people in the chat. Oh, we got we got sofa snails in the that. house. Professor Ziggy Bagman. Canadian Giant, Green Supreme. True Grit. That one. That I know I was trying to, I was, I just didn't want to know. 69 viewers watching. 70 now. Nice. 28 dabs later. Uh-oh. Oh, geez, I didn't know all you guys were going to tune in and watch. Well, I got to come up with like something now. How's it going, Sophus? Well, now? I'll How's just it going, everybody? Uh, I'll just have to come up with stuff off the top of my head, I guess. Someone said that. Yeah. Is it still distorted? Is it still distorted? uh, Is it still distorted? Bottom writers on holiday. We have an infinite number of monkeys that write the show. Too many monkeys. As they only have one type. Willie Hardy would say. Mr. Cookie. So. uh, we got a loose Mr. cable Cookie on this mic. Like a loose yeah. crackling. What what mic is it? People in the ch- just in general, yeah, eh? It's a general sound. Oh. Okay. Uh, just, just for a second. Okay, yeah. everyone's saying the crackling's gone. Yeah, it's fixed. No, Yay! Okay. Yeah. Well, <laughs> thanks, Cookie. Yeah. We've just been frying some bacon off to the side there. I don't know <laughs> if you guys heard any, <laughs> any crackling noises, but I think the bacon's done now, so we'll take a little break. I honestly wish that I was just back in the series. <laughs> oh, look at you, eh? Wow. It's so nice up there. And you know, well, there's need no a Starbucks up there. <laughs> and I was thinking I could open my own Starbucks. Trina needs to start franchising. And I'll open my own Starbucks up there since I love my Starbucks. And I can make tons of money and I could have like a little summer getaway. I think it's perfect. Yep. They might have laws against Starbucks. Do you think so? No, I just don't think. I think it's just too small of a town. Well, 
Is it? Everyone wants to. Everyone wants to. They're thinking that it's my bike, Mike. No. I don't know. Many an empire was built on coffee, right? Like throughout time. Yes. Built huge riches on coffee. Coffee has played a huge role in the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I'm addicted to it. (laughs) I love coffee, and honestly, I was like so sad there was no Starbucks. Never had a cup of it in my life. I was not a coffee guy at all. And the Tim Hortons at the top is at the top. Oh, Tim's. So you don't want to walk in 30 plus degrees at the top of town <laughs> just to get a freaking Tim Hortons coffee that I hate. I hate Tim Hortons. <laughs> like, no. Well, so I just went to like a little, you know, you've coffee got a good shop. There's a reason there's no Starbucks in a Soyuz. Yep. Because Tim Hortons has a monopoly there. Well, so? they boycotted <laughs> yep. uh, or we boycotted I guess them it's because yeah. uh, they, w- they, were, uh, they were censoring uh, content you can look up on their fucking Wi-Fi. Yes. Right? And, c- and cannabis, or anything cannabis related, was was included on that list. Yeah, Dana I can Larson understand filtering out porn and shit, but uh, come on, just what? really pot like. They're yeah. filtering out porn now. Yeah, a lot of places do no. that. No, there are weirdos like that. They well, shouldn't. I'm sorry, I kind of agree with that. You shouldn't be watching porn in a Starbucks. <laughs> no, do it at your that's own just home. wrong. It's wrong. <laughs> it is. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to watch it. I don't want, like, say my kids to watch it. If I had kids, I don't have kids. But What's you that? You know, it's just like, it's kind of weird. So I kind of agree with that personally. Yeah, but to restrict people's content about cannabis and other, there's a few other subjects I, I forgot. Like, watch what you want whenever you want. I'm not judging well, about that, but don't we do have it a new cord. We what if there was, like, seductive coffee porn? Oh, so, so okay. Sure. Like One moment, please. Being slowly poured into a grinder. You know yeah. what I mean? It'd make me what, want to coffee real fast, that's that for kind sure. Of porn? <laughs> <laughs> there, we're back. Hey, chat, is that better? <laughs> is there still crackling? That should clean it up. There was this cord, this thing's Hello? <laughs> yeah, no, no, it's good. Oh, they all said it's good now. Yeah. Yay. Yay, Yay Jer. Thank you. Bagman wants to know who's working the soundboard. None of your business. Jeremiah. Right. Just kidding. <laughs> None of your business that it's Jeremiah. Jeremiah. <laughs> hey. He's just put a better cord in. We found, on, a m- we found a bit more tape and glue. No and crackle gum. for Mr. Cookie. <laughs> We're good to That's go good. now. <laughs> Doesn't like the uh, pork belly either. <laughs> e. That's a private joke. <laughs> <laughs> some crackling and some pork belly. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, we have a studio so guest. Look. Yeah, Kevin's here Good in the house. Kale. Studio guest. So, on <laughs> this day, May 27th, 18, no, 1647, as you all know, was Yeah, the I was well alive were, were you there? Was the, vi- <laughs> the first recorded execution of a witch in Salem, Massachusetts. Hmm. Yeah, they were trying to extinguish a bloodline. I don't know how they know that. Huh. Well, I guess... It it was recorded. <laughs> they wrote it down. <laughs> so what it... Any woman with, you know, a big mouth or who was beautiful or who had healing, you know, yeah. arts or new things about medicines was deemed a witch. Just like cannabis. They've been doing it ever since. But what it, they must have went, you know, we're doing this so much. Don't you think we should write something down? Shouldn't we record this? Hey, do you want to record this? Yeah. Hey, they had a big meeting at the fucking church and I uh, went, yeah, yeah, yeah. This it was a make work project. Recorded, you, know. you know, keep people busy. <laughs> yeah. Kind of <laughs> like government today. It's the first recording of witch burning? Yep. Yeah, that's. First execution of a witch. Uh-huh. First She's recorded a witch. one. Thus leading to the sketch by Monty Python. <laughs> And the witch. Right? Without it, uh, <laughs> there could have been no Monty Python sketch <laughs> about burning a witch. <laughs> so. Well. I don't know. You thanks. I like witches. Thanks for witches? doing that. <laughs> the it's a uh, Catholic edged Church sword, really eh? doesn't like them. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> what else happened? Your Golden Gate Bridge, Bridge opened on this day in 1937. People didn't know. What? No, I don't need a bridge. I'm blown away. <laughs> hey, for eight days, no one used it. I am right blown now. away right now. <laughs> don't need that, huh? That's I did not know that. Really? This day in 1937. Yeah. Wow. 
Golden Gate Bridge. Wow. Imagine it took, you know, human beings that long to figure out how to make a bridge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did I nail it? Did I nail the? the did I nail the, the the feeling of surprise? Yes, I yeah, thought totally. that was I very. Was th I thought you were genuinely good. surprised. Mm-hmm. We I actually found that fact. <laughs> yeah. Eight. That's Kevin's favorite website. Happy 420. Oh, hey. Time it's to get 420. Stoned. Yep. It is, it is 420 out there in the world. Hope you're all having Can a good be day. Happy 420. <laughs> what, um, Time to roll another joint. What are you stoners uh, smoking? Schmoggin. Anything? We're dabbing. We got dabs going here, too. Yeah, I don't know what are you dabbing or smoking? The MK Ultra Psst. Amber series. Northern Lights. Rosin and Critical Hog. Grapefruit. Pink. Okay, some Kush. Yeah, I love Kush. Mm, grapefruit. Blue Dreams. <laughs> OG. Pineapple Skunk in the Sub. Nice choice. Ooh. Very nice choice. Yeah, the Pineapple Skunk is... Uh, oh, that's it. Green crack. It's fucking tasty. Green crack. <laughs> For all who don't know I like that. To, I just like saying that. <laughs> Like, nah, fuck that. I'm not going on that show. Ooh, some Mexicush. Ay, 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 ay. Pretty good dab. Gotta mm. say, oh, a little a uh, MK Ultra. Like it. What else? We've been smoking all sorts of great shit in the last little while. Now, Here's uh, something I came across on the internet. -ery. Apparently, marijuana-infused smoked salmon is the future of breakfast. Yum, yum, yum. Are you guys just figuring that out, eh? <laughs> 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 yeah, right. But I don't know, the future of breakfast. <laughs> Not a big salmon fan myself, but... Uh, I fucking love salmon. You should see the faces he makes when we go for sushi. <laughs> <laughs> Had bad experience with salmon when I was young. I was attacked by a big school of them. Right? I was almost uh, jumped over to Well, they're death. bullies. Well, you know, they are. some of I them mean, are they, up to 40, 50 pounds, man. They, yeah. I used yeah. to go to salmon school. I, I know. That. Yeah. I, I've, I, I've, been, I've been in a couple rumbles in the salmon schoolyard. And, uh, well, bullies. just let me tell it's you. It's actually over hopscotch. They don't call them sockeye for nothing. <laughs> so. Yep. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> That's all I know. Sock the biggest There's one right in the silly. eye. Boom. So, I'm not sure how they're infusing the salmon with smoke. I don't know how that all goes. Well, they're just getting It them could high. be secondhand smoked salmon at some degree, is it not? <laughs> Wouldn't they, it be? They, they, like that. That's they cool. hold the. <laughs> you gotta hold the joint for them. I don't know. I, they can't, they I can't think, hold it for themselves. I think you right? have to yeah, be alive gotta, to experience Yeah, you just gotta hold the joint for them. <laughs> it's so easy. No, long, I don't mean the yeah. salmon's yeah. getting them <laughs> back. But you would you got to assume that they're smoking the salmon over marijuana smoke. I don't know. They don't stay lit. No, you, know, you, can't, you don't Sub smoke salmon? the salmon. Ew. The salmon are smoked. That's what someone just said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sub salmon. I, I, I tried. I tried. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I tried they rolling up salmon. They don't time. stay <laughs> lit, eh? It wasn't you know, good. No, it wasn't fuckers. good. Fuckers. Well, they don't. There seems to be a lot of confusion about this, and we might uh, we might have to come back to this story. I'm after a short <laughs> break. Tuna kush. A new <laughs> definition to the tuna kush. <laughs> after yeah. a smoked salmon yeah. break. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't get it, but uh, I'm not sure how they're infusing the salmon. Uh, salmon people seem to be slap. confused about what I'm talking about. So let's move on to the next story. Well, you don't even like salmon. I don't even like salmon. Yeah. I don't why like salmon. Why would, you, why would you get it? He you just wanted like to that. tell everybody that. It was a it's story in the news. Hey, I don't. Uh, gross. I don't salmon filter this not. stuff. You can tell by that story <laughs> alone. I don't even like salmon. I told you about it. <laughs> right. So you can this is so salmon. unbiased. Yeah, this is that story. <laughs> news. <laughs> a yeah, world like, yeah, I gotta go. 
Oh, you here. can infuse salmon with anything, right? <coughs> Make salmon chips. They're delicious. Now, here's a report that's come out of Boston. Boston? <coughs> uh, the Massachusetts <coughs> Health Council released a... S- <coughs> what are they saying? Released a report and recommend recommending <coughs> that <coughs> medical marijuana is, in fact, a gateway to heroin. Is what? Again? Oh, okay. What? It isn't. <laughs> it is. It's, it no, is no, or it isn't. The report medical claims medical marijuana is a gateway to heroin. <laughs> Massachusetts uh. Health Council says that marijuana is a gateway to heroin. Medical <coughs> marijuana, not <laughs> recreational, which uh, is encouraging. <coughs> no, no, they, they, they say <laughs> recreational marijuana is a gateway to crack sick. or cocaine. And, right. and, and medical marijuana is a, recre- uh, is a gateway mm. to heroin. Right. So, you know. Huh. Well, fair enough. Both are lies. It's all lies. Good. Yeah. They're all lies. <coughs> no. Propaganda. <laughs> no. They, uh, Tell that to the countless pets that are addicted to heroin and cocaine because of marijuana <laughs> <laughs> now they've had a they've had a rash of opioid deaths in fucking Massachusetts or whatever and uh-huh. they're claiming the Massachusetts Health Council they're saying says don't take opiates for a rash <laughs> yeah <laughs> stop <laughs> taking so many opiates what was it the whale or dolphin died after like a bowel dolphin. bowel surgery that went wrong so sad okay. <laughs> What? Sorry, it made me think of that. <laughs> I know I'm such a stoner, but I had to say like that's really Opiates sad. Opiates to now bringing you the latest on. The <laughs> and it made Back me to you, Marilyn. This show really just goes have them fucking things locked up anyways. Like fuck. this show is like a drunk driver. <laughs> this <Shut> just, <laughs> this just on, in. Tommy. <laughs> Columbia. Columbia. <laughs> what fun. <laughs> yes, it is. McMahon's in the house. Tommy Bond. Sasquatch. House. Tim's in the house. Mm-hmm. Hey. So they're claiming the medical uh, Massachusetts Health Council that medical marijuana dispensaries are fucking uh, <laughs> leading people into heroin. Oh, fuck off. And who's saying they this? say it suggests that pot dispensaries similar to pain clinics that dole out addictive drugs will contribute to the epidemic. Oh my God. Wow. Hmm. These are fucking That adults. sounds like a desperate Epidemic. Angle. Okay, yeah. let's talk about <laughs> epidemic, right? Like the fucking oxy that's going around that they're <laughs> feeding to like tiny remote communities and people are dying in the droves, right? They'll hand that shit oh, out yeah. like candy and then start screaming about, you know, when someone fucking gets caught rural, you know, with joint or a fucking bag of weed, right? And I'm going, what is wrong? Like, what is wrong? You know, and these pill pushers have way too much power and they write the laws. Totally. And, you know, they got to go along with, like, you know, a whole lot of other shit, but <laughs> it's all well, part the, of the systemic the problem. I think the whole medical industry is fucking suspect. It is. It's quite a scam. Frankly. They've uh, gotten away with moiter, if you will. Everything. Daily, unfortunately. Now, this uh, this concern that they have in Boston about all the deaths from opiates is not even coming close to the concerns that they have out here in Maple Ridge. Maple Ridge residents say that the... Uh, that the proposed marijuana grow up that wants to open there will overtax their water supply. There's oh not going to be my. enough water for them. Oh man. Really? Yes. Thirsty plants. Thirsty plants. Like anyways? Like really? Well, yes. uh-huh. What is their population? A lot of people live uh, up uh, on that ridge. A hundred protesters oh, gathered outside the proposed dead. site of the medical marijuana grow up. And most of the residents in the area have wells, and they're concerned that the 40,000 square foot greenhouse will <laughs> drain their water supply. <laughs> it's putting our supply of water at risk, says Sylvie Jensen. Oh my. 
The community here is on well water. The production of cannabis requires a lot of water per plant per day. And the aquifer is already overtaxed. Mm-hmm. Well, what, by your three times a shower a day? Yeah, if the aquifer <laughs> if the aquifer is overtaxed, uh, Sylvie, cool. <laughs> you're living there already, Sylvie. And if it's overtaxed, <laughs> you guys are using way too much fucking water anyway. Now it's of course nonsense that uh, they're they can't handle. They're it just you know care about our water anyway. Clutching at straws. Everyone fucking just throws this, like all the fucking poop and shit in our water anyways. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, no kidding. But now we can't have our medical marijuana because it's going to take away your water supply. Like, yeah, I'm tired of everyone break. claiming that everything was so oh so fucking pristine yeah, before exactly. this came really, along. Really, we don't even <laughs> fucking act like we give a shit about yeah. the stuff that we're fucking trying to fight for in the end. Yep. It's just stupid. I don't know. It's embarrassing, Sylvie. Come on. <laughs> you really? stop embarrassing Not yourself. in my backyard, Sylvie's <laughs> saying. No, nope, you're mean, not going to have medical marijuana grow up in my backyard. You, know, you go put it somewhere on, else. You know, diesel make, spills in the water, NIMBY. like all this stuff. It's just... Should well, make like be, uh, we take to NIMBY? Why don't we take away all their backyards? NIMBY. What do they need all their <laughs> yards for Recreational anyway? marijuana. Yeah. I think we should outlaw yeah, yards. Now, here's something I found here. in the Washington <laughs> Post. Well-known <laughs> rag. Well-known news rag. The Washington Post. They <laughs> went so far as to tell me the price of marijuana in every state of the union. Nice. Including Hawaii and Puerto Rico. So you can decide where you'd like to live. Based on interesting. You know, the so <laughs> the national average of an ounce of weed is three hundred twenty-four dollars. <laughs> Yowch! A little <laughs> steep. What the hell? However, How much an ounce? What? What? Three hundred twenty-four dollars is the average U.S. ounce of weed. That's, That's fucked. Kinda. So, Gee. in the four states that have legalized <laughs> or decriminalized pot—Washington, Oregon, Colorado, and Alaska. The price of an ounce of weed has fallen below 300. Oregon is the cheapest, where an ounce of high-quality marijuana goes for $204. Almost half the cost in North Dakota. The most expensive state is North Dakota. 204. 408 in North Dakota. What? The yeah. Hell? You know what? Up north, it's about 400, eh? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It goes way high up north. That's just for, like, regular bud, you know, like no. stuff, I guess, what we would think is rather average here. Here's a... Uh, <laughs> now, here's something stupid they wrote, if, if you can imagine. <laughs> Many people who believe that making drugs Ill- illegal restricts their availability and therefore their use. But some economists argue that making drugs illegal paradoxically fuels the drug trade. Uh, <laughs> so they've gone so they've gone to their experts, economists, who find it to be a paradox that the illegality of drugs fuels the drug trade. It's Why a is paradox. A result? No, a paradox. <laughs> like they should publish the names of the economists and no one go near them again. Because <laughs> they don't know what a paradox, a paradox is. They they went on to say that when drugs are illegal, the price goes up. Irving, yeah. giving people an added incentive to grow, make, or distribute those illegal drugs. Those this. Crazy Oh, uh, yeah. It, what a smart too, guy. It's too bad those guys at alcohol prohibition didn't figure that out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's news to the world, th- and f- you heard it first in the Washington Post. <laughs> hey? From an economist. <laughs> in the Washington Post. guys get paid a lot of money for that. You go, wow. Yeah, like, holy fuck. Thing. All over the place <laughs> on... Uh, <laughs> when Jody I, and the Hall. When I read... Hey, what's going on, Jody? What's happening? Who's that lady? What the <laughs> hell? <laughs> how you doing? We don't have a Jody here. Stranger, how are you? Good. 
So, um, <laughs> yeah, they're, uh, as I read around, now here, here's something I went and had a look at. Comparatively, when they're talking about uh, marijuana being so expensive and they're, <laughs> they're finding that it's a paradox that it is, um, it's, we've got to start pointing out to people, they've got to start reckoning what they've done with prohibition, what prohibition is doing here and how it's affecting this whole thing rather than just pretending that it doesn't exist. Now, these economists are saying it's a paradox. Well, it's not. It's a fucking fact of life, <coughs> <laughs> right? That yes. Of course, you created that. The prohibition has created these things when they say that marijuana is $400 an ounce in North Dakota. Like, really? And in, like, northern Canada. And northern Canada. I say we're lucky here. We're getting it Very a lot lucky. cheaper. Now, we're cheaper oh than yeah. all of them when it comes right down to it. Yeah. Probably I mean, across start Canada. The average cost, about 140, uh, 160, in, right? They yeah, just in, in yeah. British Columbia, I would say the average cost is 150. Now, carrots, on the other hand... They well, take, uh, they'll take 15 weeks to come to maturity after you plant them. It's a fairly long time. Uh, 15, 15 weeks. 15 weeks after planting? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But still, 15 weeks. And look at all the trouble you got to go to get them. you got to dig them up out of the fucking dirt and do all this stuff to them. And you know what you get? You know what they retail for? Oh, nothing. A dollar a pound. Yeah, they like retail for a dollar a pound. But if you're smart, you can you can press them into juice and mix it 50-50 with filtered tap water <laughs> and, and turn it into fucking eight bucks a liter. <laughs> so, I don't know. You no, but <laughs> it's, it's all in, the, it's all in how you present And it. if you're really smart, you can take the tops and have a perpetual garden. It's the plant that regenerates itself continuously. Yeah. If you know what you're doing... A little bit of water, then some dirt. <laughs> Boom, new carrots. Well, <laughs> my point actually is. <laughs> Tell us. <laughs> Tell us your point. Please. We're just trying, to <laughs> just trying to teach you guys how to maximize the dollar value of your carrot yields. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Well, there's somehow, there's people in the world making a sound living off of growing fucking carrots. Making a huge living. And there's being sold, so what? A, See, what I don't what know. We're not wholesale. taking it into consideration is the veg time that we got to go through with weed. Vegetable time with carrots. Well, though. no. If we're if we're starting from seed, if we're starting a crop from seed. Come on, that was funny. right. That was extremely funny. <laughs> but if we're starting a crop from seed, carrots are faster. You'll get no. more. You'll get more low dollar yields per year. Out of carrots. It takes <laughs> almost three weeks for carrot seeds to even germinate. Yeah. Huh. But, but in, in, <laughs> yeah, in, instantly, they're, instantly they're producing fruit. Producing little baby carrots. Yeah, little instantly. Baby after carrots those three weeks. Right? That's three weeks after germinating cannabis it's seeds. It's gross. You've got to sex them. you still got to figure everything out. Then you got to clone the shit out of them. Mm -hmm. Baby then carrots gotta, don't even do get a light. you got to do selection. <laughs> Uh, hope you hope you got the keepers. It takes you roughly about a year before you know what you got after you start seeds with cannabis. Just saying. <laughs> He's just saying. But if you want more low dollar yields per year, carrots is the way to go. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. So Put those in yeah. your pipe. Just saying. And it. you can't yeah. even smoke carrots. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. They have carrot. Well, we've. Smoked in it through a carrot. Try putting carrot yeah. in a clothes. Carrot pipe. <laughs> We've had carrot, carrot pipes. Carrot many yeah, yeah. I've smoked through carrots, but you, you, you know. a dollar a pound. You wouldn't want to do a do a run of carrots and stick that in a closed loop and make some shatter with it. No, no, you wouldn't want to do that. <laughs> oh yeah, chill them. A little pipe <laughs> made out of a carrot. <laughs> I was I was just saying Bunny Whaler came by to Jamaica at our place and uh, with a carrot pipe was smoking a carrot pipe when he walked in the when he walked in he just like it was just his pipe for the day it was his day pipe yeah, day you just smoker dump the weed out fresh and you eat yeah. it and yeah. Yeah. done you carrot every day yeah I talk a dollar a pound fucking it's a lot of broccoli pipes. is three bucks a pound come on this is 
marijuana is uh, well, it's a, a cheap way to feed day. people and they use it a lot in feed and other things right so yeah so yeah chow down your parsnips carrots. clam toast says they're even cheaper i'll bet they should be they're fucking gross they are <laughs> this a uh, parsnip actually means hey we've run out of carrots yeah or turnips you know? sorry kids oh. we've run out of carrots <laughs> Hey? They'll be like, yeah. Oh, no. They'll Is it November again? <laughs> have we run out of fucking... Oh, we're going to have to eat beets. <laughs> I love eating beets. Hey, beets fucking it's rock. You too. Beets rock. I've paid money for More beet studio salads. Guests. Holy smokes, what'd you do? Sam and Pete. Oh. Yoga fight? You are in a yoga fight, weren't you? <laughs> yeah, he you was. got stoned and fell Total off Total yoga bike. fight. Got stoned and fell off your bike, right? Yeah. Tangled with a bush and lost. You should see the mountain. It's like <laughs> it's like a downward dog against the against a, a, a lotus and yeah fuck man and then you, yeah. you throw your shoulder out yoga fights they're very dangerous people don't know the uh, yeah. the offensive uh, uh, you know the pain comes on very slowly yeah and stays <laughs> very with slow you it's like slow mo really goes sets to the in core in a very relaxed manner your fucking yeah eh? really goes to the core of the pain. yeah. 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 Right to the core. No, so our friend uh, Sam fell off a mountain. Like huh? <laughs> fell off a mountain? Yeah. yeah. Like, like last night? <laughs> <laughs> I, went, <Chi>. uh, <laughs> <laughs> I went to the spot where he fell to look, and the mountain seems unchanged. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> mountain looked okay. You didn't alter the environment. You didn't alter the environment. No. <laughs> good. No footprints. Just seeing, cause he good. looked, cause Sam looked rough. I thought, holy fuck, I have the mountain must be in bad shape. But no, nope. <laughs> <laughs> we're glad. We're glad that both of them are okay. <laughs> now, there is a new chief of the DEA. Really? And a new, again? A new yeah. <laughs> They've got a new while. Well, they had to fire the last one, Michelle. Michelle Lionheart, or whatever her name yeah. was. She had to be fired because she's no fucking good at it. They yeah. set her up to be fired. Any of them are good at it? Big scandals around her. So they got rid of her, and they got this new guy. <laughs> His name is Chuck, and we like to call him Chuck, Chuck. Rosenberg. Uh-oh. You know the Rosenbergs. Chuck <laughs> Rosenberg, okay. not Charles. Charles Rosenberg. I heard about. Different. I heard about Chuck Rosenberg. Chuck. Yeah, that's Chuck like a huge Kids a bad apple. Name and entertainment, you know. Yeah. Now, he wow. used to steal kids' marbles. He Real said that apple. the uh, he said that the agency will no longer focus <laughs> focus on marijuana. That's why Lionheart got fired. Well, good. <laughs> no, what he it's says that they want to do. It's my duty to stomp out this plant. <laughs> You're fired, bitch. Yeah. Get out. <laughs> what he says that they want to do now is improve the DEA's procedures on classifying, de- <laughs> declassifying. Sorry, I'm staring at Big Daddy Pot. <laughs> <laughs> they want to improve their procedures on classifying, declassifying, and reclassifying drugs. <laughs> wow. That sounds like a 50 year study. That's yeah. a mouthful. Holy. <laughs> Thank you, Obama. Okay, Chuck. That's one thing. Chum gang. It's all the Chum gang president. Yeah. He's just trying to make it seem like it's a lot to do, but it's just one thing. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to That's declassify, reclassify, and classify, and then uh, change That's the procedure things, for it all there. Well, I'm sure they've junk. made it that if way. If you want to so account for it in proper budgeting, people have jobs. so that you yeah. get a, as much money next year or more, <laughs> yeah. you got to have it as step. three things. Then they got to study and re- like research it, study it for a while. What's that? Question for Chuck. You listening, Chuck? Question for Chuck. How do you know when you're done declassifying? And well, when you can start reclassification. Yeah. Well, I would like to know where that... It, it, it'll, uh, it'll never end. These men are judicial right, so artists. There should be a... a <laughs> yeah. Well, no, there's three, right? It's a very circular thing. To classify, My work is incomplete. Reclassify, I can't declassify, put this up yet. reclassify, reclassify, <laughs> Needs more red. Oh, I see. Yeah. It's perpetual motion. Yes, yeah, perpetual motion. The I DEA get gets paid forever. The money trough continues to roll and roll. That's what they're trying to figure out. But... Um, Here's what their attorney general, Loretta, 
I like to call her Loretta. <laughs> she said that Rosenberg, and if anyone's questioning him, he's proven himself as an exceptional leader, a skilled problem solver, and a consummate public servant of unshakable integrity. <laughs> so when he says that we want to classify, declassify, and reclassify drugs. Three things? You can trust them. That's what they want to do. We'll be able to <laughs> I feel a better. billion dollars for <laughs> each thing from the budget. <laughs> it's, it's like the, then they figured out how to make money off of it. So Loretta said to Chuck, you go out there and say that, Chuck, and I'll back you up. <laughs> right? She says, I got your back. I'll say that you're fucking... Go Integrity away, is unshakable. DA. Go away, <laughs> DA. Don't come back. What a fucking ever. joke. Don't come back. <laughs> well, you got to think of how much money is generated through prohibition, right? So the minute you, s you cut that out, they need to figure out how to make money. Well, half right? the world gets shut off. Yeah, so, yeah. so if they're not getting funding for that anymore, they got to figure out how to, how to make money. And I think they just did. Yeah. By Declassifying, reclassifying, and classifying. And the classification thereof it, it, it results well, in. I'm in worried dollars. about the dogs. Billions of dollars for each that project. That will be out of work. <laughs> Who's going to take dogs. care of the dogs? Thousands of dogs will be out of work. Are they renaming it to the Department of Classification? <laughs> yeah. And reclassification. The classification and enforcement and, and, declassification. and the Department of Declassification and the Department of Classification. Reclassification. The decla yeah. Classification, declassification, I'm and reclassification. So lost. How do they pick who I gets to work know. where? Like have, we, have we driven you people crazy? I'm very yeah. confused. So first, yeah, like, what? first they have to declassify it. But these guys are professionals and then they making have to up departments it. with huge long names. Well, why do they have to classify right, it after it's been no reclassified? I can't wait to see what they hmm. name it. <laughs> Is it reclassifying, classifying? I would, I would assume right. so. I classify it as bullshit. <laughs> but well, if you, if we'll see. Sometimes you might need to uh, come up with a classi <laughs> yeah. classification. I can't tell you that. Reclassification. Well, when I, <laughs> when I was in school, Too I was... Four. Uh, <laughs> but how do all these words are just... How do you reclassify something that hasn't been properly classified to begin with? I just, well. you know. Well, I, I just don't <laughs> know how they questions. can call it a drug. H have it we just, digressed? It, it's, oh, surely. They have. <laughs> surely. <laughs> there's Jody says there's no We're going to have to declassify that in order to reclassify it to come up with there, an answer. Yeah. I just want to <laughs> let you know. It's going on Monday in my show. Uh, yeah. Well. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Well. When I was younger, I was discussion. the declassified clown. Yeah. Yeah, all right. <laughs> That's enough of that. All you right. think it's funny? S you next. think the <laughs> prohibition is funny, Al? Yep. Well, not this Mexican woman. Uh-oh. Federal agents. Someone piss off a Mexican woman? Yep. Well, you, you don't, don't want to do that. coming to you, then. Look I'm, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Here's what happened. This woman... Pamela. <laughs> Pamela. Pamela crossed uh, over at the uh, International Bridge from Mexico into some state. And then 39 minutes later, border agents stopped a tractor trailer loaded with about 3,500 pounds of weed. Whoops. Wow. And That's then a lot. Yeah, that yeah. is. What, a lot was that was that slated for declassification? Yeah. But turns out the address of this woman Pam was listed as the mailing address for the company and the tractor trailer. So, didn't those border guards put two and two together? <laughs> they hmm. did. Well. Now, that's a lot to put on one person. <laughs> That's all I can say. Somehow, the woman <laughs> came back. She came back to the border crossing. I guess they said that, well, she found out that the truck with her name on it got busted. <laughs> so I guess she goes, she goes 
in and uh, they discovered approximately 200 tablets of some controlled substance concealed on her body. Genius. <laughs> yeah. Genius. Now. I start calling these. The I'm gonna one smuggle this into stories. the bus. <laughs> There's always that one guy. So <laughs> that makes no totally. sense. Totally, I like that rose. In this case, the one person. So, it turns out she confessed. The woman confessed to. Hi, Jody. Hey. Enjoy your day. <laughs> so after she goes back and gets arrested for all this stuff, she says. She confessed to working as a lookout for the marijuana shipment. As a and lookout. the truck that was under her name. Or she was a lookout. Like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> what are you doing? You're gonna go <laughs> it's just she was, it, it's a side job. Just sitting there her, with binoculars. Her, her, her real gig is, is, is smuggling tablets on, <laughs> yeah, on her body, but she was yeah. just doing a side gig. Like a, a side quick, gig quick, of... Quick 50 bucks. Oh, man. Don't worry about it. <laughs> just, uh, just stand six. Oh yeah, the like the truck full of weed was just a favor she owed or something. <laughs> just some extra cash to make on your way to the drop for the tablets, you know. Totally uh, insane. Oh my. Insane. Poor Pam. A lookout. Well, like, how do you be a lookout when you're you got to cross the border and then the load that's behind you has to cross the border? What are you looking out for? <laughs> what do you say? Look out! There's the border. <laughs> The border's coming up? Yeah. No. What the fuck? The lookout? And everybody went along with that, and that was the headline, that she was mm -hmm. the lookout? <laughs> you go, really? That's their story. No, it was her truck. It was her load. <laughs> Just funny, nobody, nobody's talking about the, uh, like, what was she doing walking into a bust with 200 tablets on her body? <laughs> Yeah, that didn't seem to alarm. I smuggle, I smuggle uh, <laughs> seem illicit to alarm substances anyone. into drug busts all the time. That's what I do. <laughs> Trade them for the truck? <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? Oh, they're busy with someone else, right? So uh, They were just Mentos. Uh, you think, think you'd just ditch, ditch that first, though. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> She's beat the shit out of my arm all day during the show here, passing joints to no, me. What, have you been I working out or something? Heard. <laughs> Lots of hiking, actually. Oh, I see. All yeah. pumped up. Well, well, the weather's it's nice now, so you can go for nice walks. I don't like really? to walk and hike in the rain, personally, to be honest. That's it's quite not fun for me. Cloudy, I don't mind, but, you know. Seems like quite a paradox. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. That's my life. Just kidding. Fort <laughs> Collins or Feature <laughs> Collins? Oh, my God. <laughs> So oh, I'll never live it down. He never <laughs> lets me live those anything those docks, down. Those are, those are Jordans. <laughs> These are really nice Jordans too. They are pretty like fucking nice Jordans. Fucking so Jordan. now that uh, Jordans. That's quite yeah. the angle there. Oh, now sorry. That, uh, <gasps> oh <my. laughs> I gotta be more What's more this? knowledgeable of these yeah. goddamn things. Hey, this things. is a family <laughs> show. <laughs> Sit up and pay attention to you viewers. <laughs> <laughs> so now that marijuana is legal in Alaska. <laughs> Now that they've legalized marijuana in Alaska, <laughs> politicians and council people are st have gone stupid now, of course. Now, here's one. Yeah. Now, this is uh, the Anchorage Assembly Chair Dick, we'll call him. The Chair Dick? Dick plans to, in yeah. Dick plans to introduce an ordinance. All right. He's going to introduce an ordinance. Dick, Dick and his ordinance. Yeah. Dick's ordinance. That would add <laughs> add marijuana to Anchorage's secondhand smoking law. He says, wherever you can't smoke tobacco, you can't smoke marijuana if this passes. Threatened Dick. Doesn't Did say Dick have the chair at this moment? No. <laughs> it's an assembly chair. You got to put it together. <laughs> Right. <laughs> <laughs> they they got like it from Ikea. Yeah, they're yeah, totally yeah. fucked. They totally got it from Ikea. <laughs> what a now dick move. When, when people <laughs> said, hey, w hey, wait a minute, dick. <laughs> he said, I've been getting calls from bar owners. <laughs> like bar owners. Serious people. Serious owners. people. They're, and they're worried about people coming in and lighting up inside the bar. 
That's what Dick has. This is what Dick has to put up with. Right? These phone calls. Wow. I told the wife to take the take it off the hook, and she said, "But there's no hook anymore." And <laughs> no hook on the phone anymore to take it off. <laughs> so, Dick. But what Dick, Dick. <laughs> says, he says, all the bar owners want, he says, they just want at least five feet away from the bar. Anywhere you can't smoke tobacco, you should not smoke marijuana because smoke is smoke. Dick. Yeah. Dick said. Drive a car? <laughs> yeah. And Dick's a joke. <laughs> Does Dick have barbecues in the park? Only a dick would say that. Yeah. Yeah. Dick. Dick is Dick. a lifetime fucking... Dick who couldn't assemble his chair. There's a lot of Dick. people in these positions named Dick. Isn't there? <laughs> 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 well, that's... You should make that that's what we call him anyways. Dick yeah, it is. Right on. Dick's yep. Another Dick said... <laughs> so, Dick, he just uh-huh. knows that smoke is smoke. All smoke is the same, Dick says. It's not, though, Dick. I've got... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Eight, nine, ten. I've got ten different kinds of smoke just right here. Yeah, sadly he's I see those. <laughs> now, if you light his chair on fire. <laughs> After you assemble it. Yeah, that's. It gets smaller <laughs> in the cold water. I'm sorry, but that was funny. <laughs> all right. That was a good one. <laughs> Perfect. Well. Sorry. That's quite all right. Now, here's a, uh, a good way to uh, finish that story. Now, speaking of smoke, the smell of marijuana in the Guilford jail leads to a charge. And this, of course, is uh, in a place called High Point. Guilford County Sheriff's deputies. <laughs> Guilford County <laughs> Sheriff's Jeopardy Office deputies I'm getting the giggles. are investigating how an inmate at the jail in High Point <laughs> gained possession of suspected marijuana on Monday. Oh, I love that suspected marijuana. It's so now, good. A jailer, my favorite strain. A jailer smelled an odor of marijuana, not suspected marijuana, but marijuana, marijuana. and found Alan Carlton Harris the third. That's not me. 17 of 1224 Highland Avenue in possession of a substance believed to be marijuana. Suspected Kush? According to the sheriff's office. (laughs) Now, (laughs) deputies charge Harris with possession of a controlled substance in jail. His bail was increased by $2,500. Harris was already being held on two million dollar bail. Wow. I kind of think that's unfair. Can't do that. They well, they they charged <laughs> him before they could confirm it was marijuana. It was only believed to be at that point. They didn't know for sure. Yeah. <coughs> it's not. It's not fair. Needs the proper testing. <laughs> he was already being held on two million Life dollar bail. Life isn't fair. For what? <laughs> well, he uh, he was arrested in connection with the you know you, you remember the October. 26 shooting oh, over yes. a woman who would forget that that uh, left two men injured <laughs> by <laughs> the young Harris the third and, and why isn't it in the best interest of this kid to smoke weed <laughs> yeah really <laughs> That's they, 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 they don't, don't want this kid smoking <laughs> yeah. weed they'd rather have him like stressed out and angry probably I mean, just let the kid smoke some weed <laughs> so cut down on the casualties a couple people the kid's a little <laughs> yeah. stressed out Alan. Killer Kush. <laughs> and he's Alan got a great was, fucking uh, name. His name's Alan. Yeah. Cut him a break. He was charged with Cut two counts of, in that skirmish. He was charged with two counts of assault with a deadly weapon with intent to kill, inflicting serious injury. <laughs> His bail was set at $500,000 at the time, but since they've changed the charge to attempted first-degree murder and increased his bail to $2 million. And had they let him smoke weed when he was 12... 
That like, might not have happened to him when he was 17. Where is this? This is in Greensboro, fucking somewhere in North Carolina or something. Oh this is in the South. Now, there's wow. a picture. I wish I could show you. There's a picture. <laughs> look it up on Google of uh, Alan, his mug shot, and he looked like, uh-oh. That's what he had. His face is this one. Uh-oh. <laughs> a, little, a little more trouble, eh? Like, holy cow. How yeah, fucking sorry. tragic. Don't have to warm up again. No. What's that? Here's a goofy thing that's going on in another legal state. They, they just go fucking berserk, eh? In Washington State, they are publishing weekly fucking stats on the marijuana industry. Mm-hmm. How much marijuana was sold, how much marijuana was produced, how much marijuana was shipped, how much marijuana was fucking <laughs> right down the weekly. Like how fucking stupid is that? They don't do that with anything. What are they going to come out and go, oh we're so transparent about the marijuana industry because it's so fucking dangerous that we gotta, right? They're uh, uh, charting. They're charting it for uh, future uh, as a commodity item for trading. Well, that's that, yeah, for that's public the, for trading. That's, that's what they're investors. setting it up for. That's for. That's like that's bait for investors. Well, yeah. It's like if, that's if exactly you're going to invest it is. in Pepsi, oh, you, you, you can know what they're what they're producing, what's getting shipped out of uh, out of yeah. each well, region. What they the sales can are. You can get. That's for the. That's for the straight world. <laughs> like really, they publish it fucking publicly. Tell me how many fucking bullets are being sold every day. Yeah. Every week, <laughs> eh? How much yeah. bullets and booze to the same guys every day? How about that, eh? Those stats yeah. might be a little <laughs> harder to find, but idiots. I guarantee they're out there. <laughs> yeah. No, it's fucking nonsense again. Like, really? They might and be trying to show how much money it's generating though well in general it's, it's, like not not just for investors but for the people themselves in the in the communities you know in colorado they're getting all that money back in the mail or something i don't in, know if that's actually happening in their little report they put a little fucking pin on a map of every place that you can buy marijuana in washington state and then they had a similar map of the pin for every place where it's produced you go really you, well, a you want to tell everybody exactly where it all is. All of it is, not just some of it, but all of it is where it's produced and where it's being sold is all of it. What the fuck are you doing? Like, are you insane? You probably would not publish that about anything else that you think needs to be fucking controlled, you idiots. Probably not. God, people are fucking stupid. Stop it. <laughs> Daddy Pot's getting angry. <laughs> like really? I'll turn this car right around. <laughs> right? Here's more big trouble at the border, and here's the outcome: probation and jail for a marijuana smuggler. Probation and jail. Look, <laughs> like you, you're guilty. We're gonna put you on probation for about a year, and, and then you're, you're going, going to jail. To jail. We're doing you it the other way. Oh, the probation other way. and <laughs> jail. <laughs> Yeah. It actually oh, happens you, both You don't have to go to jail. <laughs> you, 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 well. you go on conditions before you go to jail, then you go to jail, and then when you're out, you're usually released on conditions for a little bit longer. But so the whole here's what happened. Unfair. And then society doesn't forgive you. Here's what happened on March 24th. <laughs> Border <laughs> Patrol agents spotted a young male putting suspected marijuana bundles Oh, in bundles. a Dodge Caravan, well, sus- suspected, uh, suspected, right. Dodge suspected Caravan Caravan. Charged him anyways. that yeah. might have been parked suspected. on Delicious. or near Short Street, possibly in Nogales. Mm. Possibly. Now, this young Martinez woman was reportedly sitting in the driver's seat of the van. Agents closed in and arrested the 24-year-old woman and her accomplice. They were both prosecuted in local courts after the bundles were confirmed to cane contain 123 pounds of marijuana. Woo! Now, she was given three months and four years of probation. Dude, a lot of women are transporting three, <laughs> three months jail you and four ideas, years Rose? of probation? <laughs> yeah. So, mm. this young woman reported 
that she had been involved in drug smuggling since 2012 and that she'd been paid as much as $4,000 for the work. However, she said, I've spent the money carelessly by renting hotel rooms for a couple of days and <laughs> buying drugs and alcohol for all my friends. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. It's the party life. <laughs> She's been doing it for three years. <laughs> and no, I hear her listen now. Uh, nothing wrong with that. She's been doing it for three years. Got paid as much as four thousand dollars one time, like a lot of times. You got to figure that's a lot of money. And then she says that I, s but I spent it all carelessly on a hotel room for two days and <laughs> drugs <laughs> in a hotel room. Well, you know, yeah. I love she's it. not the first. Uh, well, yeah. I. Yeah. She's got some balls, She's I got to say. She's one of many. Like, really, both her and Alan got some balls, I got to say. Yeah. Like, really. Yeah. She says, yeah, I made a lot of money, been smuggling for a while, but <laughs> I spent it all on drugs. <laughs> yeah. I love it. It's good that way. Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> unfortunately, now, here's the problem. You got to watch out. In Warren, Ohio, firefighters were called to 2235 Montclair Street Northeast. If you actually, they published the fucking address. If you want to go there, the house had so had a fire. You could Google map it. You could probably easily break in, and steal the rest of their shit, <laughs> right? Because they had some. Pro or if you're a fucking crooked <laughs> contractor or guys looking for this. We, should, we could show up in police uniforms and, you know, tell them we're there. To well, there's always some ghoul that wants to watch, trust me. I remember when I was a kid, uh, th this, these people, like, you know, the big mouse and the neighbor, they all gathered to watch a guy's garage burn down. <laughs> you know, just, it's an event. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like Nothing better to do, really. So what happened was that uh, firefighters were called to that very address around 5 p.m., which, remember, that's important. Okay. For s because there was smoke coming from the house. They called police after finding a marijuana plant. <laughs> One plant. They the plant was getting high? Yeah. Now, <laughs> turns out the smoke was from a coffee pot, a different kind of pot. Wrong pot. Don't smoke pot. Uh, smoking, smoking pot is bad. Pot causes firefighters yeah. to come. That's smoking right. Pot. That's Call what all those police. smoking pot fires are. Yeah. yeah. Don't be a stupid stoner. If you're a stupid stoner, get one of those timers, right? You know, you get one of those timers. You hook all your shit up to that. Timers you set it good. for a certain time. I have like a brain injury problem. I do these things a lot. I'm glad for the auto shut off stuff because otherwise it's like woohoo. Right? That's what Len <laughs> Garris. You're hilarious. That's what Len Garris has been I'm talking about. I don't give it another thought, right? This entire time, <laughs> Len Garris' whole thing this is I what have he really meant. Timers on everything. <laughs> well, no idea. But. <laughs> This guy wasn't even home. Coffee pot fucking burning on the stove. Dude, but one plant, come on. They had to call the cops because there was one plant. They couldn't go, oh, dude, you only got one plant. We just saved your whole fucking house. So the, so the plant was making coffee? Yeah, plants were making coffee. Yep. Marijuana pot and fire. coffee go very well together. No, it's not so easy here in Canada, though. Not just a coffee pot that's going. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> Maple syrup pot. RCMP, they raided a commercial garage in Alonza. Alonza. Alonza? Alonza District? Alonza. In, in, in Manitoba? You know, west of Lake Manitoba there. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. How come I, I know Alonza District. These places ever before? Really, eh? Like, no. It's like they make them up. They, uh, <laughs> yeah. They raided a commercial garage there and dismantled the marijuana grow operation in two stage operation wow this was no fucking coffee pot where where they <laughs> went in and had to call the cops and that would, was two stages too I guess but 
that. To identify intention? Well, an RCMP statement, and you can believe their statements, describe conditions inside the garage as yeah. hazardous. Ooh. They describe conditions inside the garage as hazardous and said officers from nearby St. Rose du Lac. St. Rose du Lac, right near Eddystone. First had to vacate the building on Wednesday and disconnect power to ensure it was safe to go inside Officers bolstered by the RCMP Federal and Serious Organized Crime Unit. I remember when the <laughs> RCMP would <laughs> call it a hazardous <laughs> situation <laughs> if you just had a bottle of bleach in your house. Oh, that better call a hazmat team. There's, uh, yeah, I can't. Hazardous materials are in the house. <laughs> For bleach. Bleach, you know, and like things like. I don't know, train but cleaner or... Directed uh, to the manufacturing of hard drugs and keeping your bathroom clean. The, <laughs> thing, the thing that I find Can't interesting... Can't have anything with ammonia. <laughs> ...is that the RCMP have something called the Federal and Serious Organized Crime Unit. Federal and Serious. <laughs> All right. As it's opposed the to the federal. Serious Organized Crime Unit or the Federal Organized yeah, Crime It could be unit. Provincial <laughs> Organized Crime... Maybe not so serious. Maybe they're just getting into it. They're new, right? <laughs> <laughs> they don't. They don't really. Yeah, really. They'd be investigating themselves. <laughs> now it was. Uh, that was their. Uh, that was the whole deal. They said it was hazardous. They didn't say why. How many plants? How many? How many people got busted? There's there was none of that. Sixty-five plants. It was fuck all. That's not very hazardous. Four lights, if. That's fuck all. Commercial garage, Mick. Don't try to downplay. Yeah, don't try to don't try to downplay this, man. This is serious biz. This was a hazardous. This was a hazardous four light grow in a commercial garage. You activists are always trying to make things things. On the island, that better. means like a cement floor. Concrete building. Yeah, yeah. Hazardous grow in a concrete building. Four lights. This it, yeah. It, it, can't downplay this, man. This is serious biz. It is very serious when business. Pro when prohibition attacks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The fuck? <laughs> yeah. You can't just let the farmers have their fucking 65 plants and their four lights? What the fuck is wrong with you people, St. Rose? Yeah. Dulac. <coughs> you know, yeah, west well. of uh, Lake Winnipeg here. Manitoba. Manitoba. Right near Kayer. <laughs> right near Kayer and Eddystone. Yeah, that's like my Close Manitoba. to Oak River. Manitoba, Columbia. Yeah. The Alonzo District, you know? No idea. I'm just so looking up these no? towns. No, I don't know. What the hell, man? You don't graphic. know the Interlake in yeah. Manitoba? No, I, what the hell? Interested. Jesus. Yeah. I'm going to start doing that. You never watch that. Hinterland Who's <laughs> Who? <laughs> no. <laughs> Hinterland, that's where it all takes place, isn't it? <laughs> Hinterland Who's Who is in fucking Manitoba. It's all in Manitoba, man. <laughs> now, here's an interesting twist. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Moon, I don't know if that's the right life. word. <laughs> paradoxical twist. Mm. Paradoxical twist. Yeah. Another paradoxical it's twist. Like, uh, That's what an economist would have said. Yes. Yeah. Straight from an economist, I got this shit. Mm -hmm. Now, here's the thing that um, they're talking about in the news. I don't know if it's actually true or not, but in the African American community in the United States, they are showing a huge tendency to be very leery of legalization because paradoxically marijuana has represented a, a horrible thing in their community marijuana has taken and put all their fucking young men in jail mm -hmm. right so that they're they're not able to get over the idea that marijuana should be okay now Right? They're not seemingly reckoning with the idea that no one's going to get arrested for it anymore. <laughs> or or shouldn't. Right? So, mm, I find that very, very interesting. It's coming from a... It's coming out of fucking... Uh, well, uh, the, the reverend, the good reverend from downtown <laughs> wherever had a good point. He said they're not going to be... Allowing or... Uh, he said white people aren't going to be allowing this in their neighborhood. It's going to be all down here. 
<laughs> right? He said, where all the liquor stores, where all the gun stores, where all the, uh, all the other fucking right horrid the shit in the world that nobody else will, right? Beside all their churches, yeah. yeah. Just churches, liquor stores, <laughs> and gun stores. Gun stores. Good thing. It's a good oh thing. Yeah. I don't know. It, uh, it was a bizarre <laughs> twist to... And I can appreciate where the people are coming from that are saying this kind of stuff. Like, it's ravaged the fucking African-American community from coast to fucking coast, and it continues today. <laughs> so, <laughs> there, but it's just a weird thing to go, oh, well. Ending the prohibition that's doing this would be a bad thing because that thing that was prohibited until they figure they out don't, how to they make enough money declassifying, Listen. reclassifying, and yeah. classifying. You know what? Yeah. There's they got to reclassify. A lot of money. That's, that's, you know that's what yeah. they do. Yeah, like a lot of money has been generated. They'll be able, you know, to, they'll be able to equate uh, for billions of dollars in that action. I know how to do it. Well, I think you, we should. I, I, I think they should, uh, they should um, declassify prohibition and, and they should just bring it back to novice hibition. That's what. Uh, yeah. Amateur, maybe. Amateur even go hibition. amateur for a few years. <laughs> amateur hibition. Amateur hibition, yeah. yeah. Uh, amateur hibition. Well, I gotta say that all this over representation yeah. of, you know, That's what I think. black people and people of color and indigenous people in the system because of this, you know, prohibition. Yeah. I mean, it's a disgusting. It's a national shame. It should be fucking exposed. But uh, I'd, I dare say they're probably a little more unhappy about, you know, there's very few, a very select few who are going to generate millions off this. Well, you know, our people yeah. still lingering Not in jail. Long. You know, everybody's yeah. still sitting around. Like, none of these people have had their records uh, expunged, even though the state laws changed. And, you know, they're still sitting around in jail. Doing time. Well, yeah. see, they're Absolutely. not thinking of how much more money they could make. Like they could say, there's "Hey, a lot bring, of us money. Five, bring us five <laughs> grand each if you have a record, and we'll expunge it for well, you." Yeah, there's a lot of money spot. generated. Imagine but it's, it's going to cost that much in paperwork. You know, you know, yeah. they, they could be doing all of this and generating so much more cash and just making the fucking the wheel go so much easier. Because it's like this is this is such bullshit. It, you, you do a crime, you go to jail. The whole reason for, for going to jail is to pay your debt to, soci to society. You come out of jail, but your debt to society hasn't been paid. Mm. Because now you have a record, a criminal record, that separates you from the rest of society. Which will. is bullshit. So and what's I the owe point you, of going if to jail? You will. There's no, there's, it, it's, it's, it, it completely defeats the, the purpose of going to jail to pay your debt to society. Yeah. There's no okay. I forgot how many tens of thousands of people are currently housed in, in <laughs> by the government. It's the only housing they've been investing in, by the way. And, you know, and it's all, like, contracted out, and there's a lot of money being made off jails, right? It's all privately owned, and, like, you know, inmates have to pay to use, like, you know, services like fucking telephone, right? Mm -hmm. And just to get what they need. Well, so here's the thing that the bullshit, good reverend right? doesn't fucking get, though, is that uh, I'm it sure is there's a lot of, yeah, a lot of jobs, you know, are created. Yeah. Uh, so, you it know, is housing, prohibition. Housing, supporting, looking after uh, all these incarcerated people and the justice system and, like, how many fucking hundreds of jobs? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, it's rampant. But it's all based on racism, the whole fucking thing. Well, yeah, they use Right? That. The whole fucking thing. The drug war in the United States is all about always racism. racism. Well, that's one of the intentions and of that construct, right? That's why more black Definitely. people, that's what they fucking, Hispanics, they fucking, <laughs> that's all you ever read about statistics. They just put everybody in their own little group, eh? The Hispanic group said this, their vote, the black vote is this. You go, fuck off. You put them all in jail mm. as much as you can. And you've been doing it for fucking since the 60s. Well, way before then. Come on, of course they have, but hard and fast mm. since the 60s and harder and faster since the Bushes came to town. Urgh. In fucking 1971. The DEA, who had known that Noriega, the president of Panama, was smuggling cocaine into the United States. They knew that since the 60s. 19 that's, that's why Noriega got... 1971... <laughs> the got into power. <laughs> in 1971, the DEA wanted to indict him for that. 
the CIA stopped them from doing that. The head said, of all the right, we got to fill the DEA in on our. The what, head of the CIA was George Bush. Right. S few just a few years later, he was vice president when the Iran Contra affair broke, where they were smuggling tons and tons and tons through Panama, yep. and they got caught doing it. George Bush was vice president. Said, "Oh, I don't know anything about it." Lying fucks. The Bush family are behind the drug war. They are behind oh, the totally. drug war. He also lobbied in the early 80s. Him and his aides lobbied hard to get the CIA involved in the drug war. We want them to have power to do things internationally to stop these drugs. Mm -hmm. and the Bush family is politics. fucking the war on drugs. They're behind it all. You can <laughs> bet on that. The fucking monsters they are. Yep. Like, really. Both sides of the whole thing, too, really. Ah, it's crazy. Well, oil, yeah. guns, and gold, right? Don't get me started. But Gold, oil, and diamonds. They're also behind, God. perhaps, the idea God. of... God, gold, figure. oil, and diamond. They are, they're also behind, perhaps, the idea of figuring out how to put all the minorities in fucking prison. Because they created mandatory minimums. They created private prisons. Yep. The Bush family. And if they didn't, they were there with fucking Reagan when he did. Because he was vice president then. then he, uh, if you fucking elect another one, you're <laughs> on your own. You put George Bush, Jeb Bush in the oh, fucking no, White coming. House. Je you Jeb people is, are on Jeb your Jeb own. Leave uh, fucking you know. fast. Like, really, that? nobody's figured out anything from anything that's happened in the last, what, 30 fucking years? Yeah. Read up on it. These Jeffy people Long are Bush. fucking nuts. But anyway, <laughs> so, <laughs> that's all I got. Pretty sure that's all my phone's got. That's all we got? I think so. All right. Well, yeah. I got to go uh, get some smoked salmon and some heroin. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I got to go reclassify yeah. and smoke declassify. Heroin. Burn a witch. Yeah. Going to another bit. Witch burning hey. tonight. Yeah. Are you? Hey, can I just oh, yeah. uh, see something? This won't be. Yeah, yeah Rose, ha Rose uh, says bye. has bye. something to I say before hey, we go. I just want your kind attention for a while. I just want to point out, you know, there's an empty seat here today, and uh, I just want to raise one and say, uh, you know, um, uh, Vlad used to come to the to the set just about every week. Yeah. You know, Sometimes Our good play guitar. Vlad passed away. Yeah, a week and or he's so uh, he passed away last week. So he would come here and play his guitar and uh, fill in uh, with fun and visit us a lot. So we'll miss him terribly. Mm-hmm. But uh, so we jammed it up for him last night. Had a great Fuck, jam, jam tribute jam. Last night? That was awesome. Yeah. Good time. Yeah. It was fucking. Yeah. It was Fitting. unbelievable, actually. You know, the place was packed, which is really nice. It was. Getting real, it was just about as it, I had always envisioned it. A lot of people yep. were dancing, but the music, the bands were fucking nailing it. People who'd never stood up together before, hardly. Boom. Yeah, it was he, one of those maybe magical they played nights, the songs you know? a few times, but they fucking band after band after band got up there and went, you went, wow, this is like real fucking professional entertainment. It was. Well, a lot of it was, right? Just well, yeah, but still. Like I'm it was just one of those magical nights. It was. Yeah. From back, from front to back, like even yeah. uh, Sativa Diva or whatever. Sativa they, Diva was well <laughs> <laughs> was brought the house down. Was well received. <laughs> yeah. Very well received. And um, the good crowd, everybody is into it. So. Uh, you know, I, I, that's, that's one thing that Adam and I have talked about lots um, with these jam nights. We see people who are, they don't quite fit a social mold a lot of times. And, you know, they, they find, uh, I don't know, they just find comfort, right? So they're <laughs> yeah. able to, they're able to break out of their shell and, and just do, do what makes them happy. And in a lot of cases, they, they you know, they really evolve as humans. And, uh, and uh, we, we get to see a lot of people over the years just, just change for the better. So, yeah. That's why we're all here. Fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah, music. Uh, <laughs> Got to figure Easy. we're all pretty much the black sheeps of our families or the African-American sheeps of our families. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, 
I dare say, what is Malmo handy? Do you want some oh, me to promote something? David Malmolina has something to promote, oddly so enough. In my hand, I have a copy of David Malmo Levine's little pamphlet book here. Does cannabis inherently harm young people's developing minds? It's a question. But It's a David, coloring book. It's a coloring book. For and kids. while you it's you got to move it a bit, Mick, because it's you get, just getting you get reflection. You get them high and you just give them yeah. some crayons in, the, That's in that right. book. It uh, damages your developing mind as you color. Comes with five grams. And on the but last page of the book, it says no. Oh, no, that's right. Virtually yes, that is true. <laughs> uh, the answer is no. Cannabis does not inherently harm you. The answer is we. The, there's no studies have shown it. The, that's not, the answer is no. Oh, studies don't give have it away. Spoiler alert. Yeah, spoiler alert. <laughs> David, in this in this studies, uh, he actually looked at 24, I believe it is, different studies to do all of the ones we could find about youth and cannabis, and uh, and came up with this amazing piece. We've published it in Cannabis Culture. Um, we worked on it for a long time, and it's a quite a. It's, it's a, the reason he turned it into a book is because it's a large document. It's got well, a lot of comprehensive information in it. The right it's totally worth being a book. Too. It is. It's nice in hand. Yeah, you can roll right. the cover. Very good cover for rolling. Size. Yeah. Um, nice. I'm not sure what well, David is actually going to do with this, but I imagine it'll go through a few. Somewhere. Um, on you'll the be internet. able to buy it. Yeah, David somewhere. Will, you can buy yes. it off of David. I'm sure he'll make it available. David. And that'll David. be good. David Malibu. He always does great research. Yeah. So This one's great. All right. Well, Basically, the, we find that the studies themselves don't stand up at all. Any of the studies to do with marijuana and youth are almost all of them are fraudulent the completely. They Whoosh. don't stand up to a basic criteria that all scientific Whoosh. studies are supposed to stand I, up to. I, so. think, I think the more people dig, the more they're going to find it, it is just it isn't Moloch? confined to cannabis studies. Most it's, studies it's are fraudulent. Like. It's who, whoever <laughs> funds the study gets the results they want. So you can go into studies are no nature, fun. petroleum, you, medicine, all over the place, and you're going to find that most studies are just bullshit. There's very few that actually have validity. <laughs> the Gates all Foundation? Right. Let's get out of here. <laughs> we uh, went way over time. I hope we didn't cut into Those somebody some else's Those show. Those are some fudge studies. <laughs> Not. But hey. Um, tomorrow night, are you guys going to do a live thing with Mike? It's going to be live. What time's that? Uh, it is at 8 p.m. 8 o'clock. 8 Tomorrow, 8 o'clock. 8 p.m. Pacific time. Stoner um, Comedy Night with Mike Rita Mike here Rita. at Cannabis Woo! Culture. He'll be live on Pot TV. So he was supposed to come and join us today. but Yeah, he was here. Yeah, yeah. He walked know. in. He was like, nah, Myrna's not here. Oh, uh, yeah, really? No, I'm not sure what happened to him. He was here. Hope we weren't being He was looking funny. for a good one. And, uh, I, yeah, I actually you know. think he heard some of the jokes that we, we dropped and was funny. like, whoa. Yeah, we were. I'm out of my We were play, gonna turn yeah, it down. You know. I'm just gonna. But a special stoner, uh, <laughs> Mike Rita and friends, uh, yeah. Daryl Brown's. Oh, um, yeah, Darryl, if, Darryl, if you don't know, Daryl Brown's a funny motherfucker. Mike so Rita's a funny motherfucker. So that's here at the lounge tomorrow night, so you can come on down. Ten, Ten bucks, bucks to get in. Woo! Eight o'clock. He's got um, a fabulous art, too. It'll oh, also yeah. be uh, live on the internet for six bucks. Cool. Yeah, 16. Yeah, 16 if you want to watch online. it at home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you get to keep it, and you get a, you get an empty shoe box. But I tell you what, every <laughs> and t for today only, Something. everybody who's in the chat gets it for free tomorrow night. That sounds fair. Yeah. Online. We'll, we'll cover their bill. Yes. We'll Just. We'll need receipts, but we'll talk about that later. <laughs> but you don't get the shoe box. Yeah, no shoe box. Don't even box. think about, yeah, where's our shoe box? You know? All right, well, um, yeah, too bad he didn't show up. But uh, we'll see him. He just left. Check out Jared's show on Friday. Not this Friday, though. I'll be on the island. Oh, Not Jared's this Friday. He'll be on the on island. I did want to say, though, that people on May 29th, that's this Friday, should call the city of Vancouver... If you're from Vancouver and you want to get on the list to speak at the dispensary hearing and or you just want to give them information or tell your mind to the mayor and council, you can go to the front page of Cannabis Culture right now, get all the information you need to contact the city starting May 29th at, I believe it's 10 a.m. or something. And, uh, yeah, get on the list for June 10th. We need as many people on board as possible. We need to flood that office with calls, as many people as we can. They and should uh, hold that at the art gallery. <laughs> Hey, like at the <laughs> art gallery. <laughs> hey, Jer, they should hold those hearings at the art gallery. 
We they know should. we could get 50,000. Yeah, we can get a lot of people up. there. Yeah. That's right. With and one microphone. Yeah, that's where we should host A big host line, sure. a very orderly line. Yeah. Just Malmo. don't let Rainbow John up first. <laughs> yeah, Why not? Really yeah. Just let Neil up there in the front. Yeah. You can sing O Cannabis. Malmo throwing joints to everybody oh, along the way. I think it'd be great. We'll do that at the hearing. Up. I think we should have a, yeah. a hearing fest. Yeah. Hearing fest. Saturday yeah. night hearing on, the, on the 30th, uh, yeah, Canadian yeah, Concentrate Open. Where's, where's Canadian Concentrate <laughs> exactly. Open on Saturday? Here? Right here in the lounge. Right here at the lounge. <laughs> starts uh, at 4 o'clock, opens and five o'clock. Uh, starts at 5 on the nose. It's going to be br- no, prompt. 5 on the dab. Yeah, it's on the on dab. the dot. On the <laughs> yeah, there you go. Rockin' dots. Are you gonna broad broadcast from the uh, concentrate open? Anybody? This weekend. I'm gone on Friday, so unless Are you we broadcast, Tommy, Tommy could do it though. Anything well, live? Saturday. Anything live on the internet? We could ask Tommy Let's to set it, it up. Huh? Yeah. Good. Tommy. Yeah. Let's set right it up. On. Well, um, thanks, everybody, he'll for showing anyway, up today. Thanks, Jer, for uh, yeah. keeping Shaw sharp and getting <laughs> it back on. It ended up working on. out. We didn't yeah. seem to have any actual problems. Well. We were worried about it, but it was fine in the end. So there you go. It was uh, the congestion. Lee Harvey up. woke the we Shaw up and kicked him out of his grave. We will have a new line drop, though. That's what they said. The line from the actual on-the-street line needs to be replaced. So that's Fuck. coming. Yeah. <laughs> so, so they can, our listeners That's can, can phone Shaw and bug them and say, <laughs> yeah. we're getting crappy reception of a TV show we yeah. like, you know. Flood their office with calls. Fix it. <laughs> Tell the mayor to. viewers, we need our viewers to, you know, let's it. write letters, make phone calls. Phone jam, Shaw. Yeah. <laughs> phone jam. Um, thanks no, to no, Mick for stopping for by, mayor. too. And uh, check his show out on Mondays at 4 o'clock. It's the 420 lifestyle hey, hey. yeah yeah along thanks. with jade and uh all sorts of other fun things well and not with jade no no right, she's not no no we're taking uh, guest co-hosts oh is that right so if you're oh, cool. uh, interested yeah. in uh coming down and guest co-hosting co-host. on the show well, uh get a hold of me Yo. sign up on the list there well. you go get on the, the open get list hold, get a hold of my manager jeremiah vandermeer and uh <laughs> <laughs> Jeremiah yeah, at CandlesCulture.com. He handles all my booking. That's right. And uh, thanks to Rose for being here, too. Always nice to have you in the house. Oh, back to Rose. Wait, I can change cameras. There's, there's Rose. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Bye, Rose. Talk to you later. <laughs> Be good. <laughs> See you on the flip and, side. Um, thanks to the Kush Queen. She had to go. See ya. Her <laughs> chariot was uh, running out of parking time. I guess the horses were winning. Mr. Malmo Levine? Mr. Mal Mal Levine. Thanks to Al for uh, being here always. Thanks for having me. My pleasure. Apparently, I'm a stranger around the block these days, so I guess I should be coming well, around. Well, I don't know who says that. Jody made that quite Jody, clear. Jody, yes. Thanks for everybody Sir for Jody? tuning in. Good to see you all in the chat, too. Thanks a lot for doing that. And um, have fun all week. Still 74 Until viewers Till Until the next time. I'm Marijuana Man. Peace. And pot. <laughs>